Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa. Today I'm going to show you something I found at Target. I really should not be allowed to go there. I should have a big sign that says, please don't let her in. Like, you know, they have like the most wanted at the post office. I should have a sign outside Target that says the most unwanted. I think my husband actually might pay for some awesome huge signs to put up on our local Targets. And yes, Targets is what I said, not Target. Targets. That means we have more than one. So if he puts a sign out at one, I can always go to the other, right? Anyway, I saw this at Target. I thought it was really cool. And I love lettering. I love handwriting. I don't necessarily love my own, but I do love seeing everybody's handwriting because to me, it's something that's so personal and something that's your own. No one can really duplicate it. Similar maybe, but not duplicate it. So I thought I would show you this awesome set. All I, I opened it just to take off the glary top part, but I haven't opened it yet, so you're gonna see me playing with it for the first time. So I really thought this was kind of neat. Um, you know, writing is the rage right now, and I think it's really super duper important that you write and have your own writing in your scrapbooks, in your journals, in your planners, in everything, because if it's all just stamps, and yes, I know, I sell stamps, I got it, but it's really important that you have your own writing and stuff, as well as whatever else you're going to use to create um, because that's like, I have writing from my grandmother. I have a recipe that she used to make for us. Um, she used to make a red cake and everybody knows like the red cake now, you know, it's devil's food. They have a whole bunch of, um, different mixes and stuff. You can buy it now, but my grandmother actually made it from scratch with like six bottles of red food coloring. And it was the best. She made the frosting it was like six or seven layers and each layer was like just this like this big it was like tiny little thing and she would just shave it and just oh my gosh it was the best ever anyway so I found that recipe which is really was instrumental in our family for everybody's birthday and um I posted on Facebook and everyone was like so excited not just for the recipe because she kind of winged it and that's kind of what the recipe looked like but because it was in her writing and it was so beautiful and it brought so many great memories. And I automatically looked at it and knew it was her writing. So again, very important for you to have your writing. It doesn't have to be something fancy like this. It can be just regular writing. So I am encouraging you to write, 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 write. Journal, 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 journal. And of course, stamp, stamp, stamp. But make sure you have your own writing. Anyway, so what I have here, it's called Crayolagraphy, which is a brilliant plan words. Thank you, Crayola. It has um, 15 instruction pages, three fameable art pages, 12 dual tip markers, two gel pens, one photo frame, four place cards, and eight gift tags. So we're gonna open it up. Um, I, again, on the back here, there was pieces of uh, tape, so I just pulled those off. It's kind of cool how they gave it to you because they also give you this, which is kind of like a color chart, which I think is pretty neat. Um, you don't have to necessarily keep all the pieces, but I'm going to show you all these cool little pens that it came with. And again, they're dual tipped. And my idea, although I haven't read it yet, my idea is that they basically complement each other, which would make sense. So I'm taking all these beautiful little markers out and I'm going to put the plastic piece aside and I'm going to enjoy my creaking chair still. You know, I got a new chair probably, I wanna say maybe it was a year ago, um, and it started creaking like probably, I don't know, four weeks after I had it. Yeah, not kidding. Anyway, so I am ripping this piece right open right here. We're just gonna take this little scissors and take that little piece off, oops, and rip it open. So it comes with this, this, uh, turn letter into our little set and it's uh, got the little plastic wrap. And clearly the pl plastic wrap today is smarter than I am. So we're gonna try this again. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 there we go. I think I might have had it this time. I'm not promising anything, but we can hope. Let's try this again. There we go. No way, way. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. I am taping this actually on Sunday. I'm having a nice Sunday. I am uh, really excited about looking at this, so hopefully you are excited too. It was relatively inexpensive. Um, for all the markers and everything, and I could have the price wrong, I'm sorry if I do, but I believe it was somewhere between uh, 
18 and $25. It might even be $15. I'm not sure. I will have to check, but I had a gift card, so I wanted to use it, and it had $30 on it, and I don't know how much it had left, so I apologize, but that is what I had. So anyway, this is what it has here as far as the colors, and these here, like for example, this says brick red and lobster red, so that's brick red, and then there's lobster red on the other side. So that's exactly what it is. It's a pretty cool set. If you're a beginner or if you're, you know, a long time um, colorer, letterer, etc., etc., I think this would be a great set for you to bring along on a trip or something and just uh, have your little silver and gold highlighter pens. I think it's awesome. So I'm pretty excited. So um, this is what it has here in the little packet. So you have your little paper here. I'm just going to scoot these this way kind of more on top of each other. There we go. Stay, stay. Okay, you're not gonna stay. Who am I kidding? Oh, yeah, I see that not ending very well. So here it just shows different ways that you can letter and the different types of um, lettering you would do with the different tips. So it's got a detail tip and a brush tip and it also has a graphic tip. So that's pretty neat. Shows you different things you can do. Um, gives you the principles of what you're doing and why you're trying to do it and how to get started gives you different ways to add dimension in different colors and how to add accents. Um, this is similar to like a, if you wanted to use like a, a chameleon pen or a Copic marker or any of the other alcohol markers, this is a similar look. Not a similar pen, but a similar look it looks like to me. My opinion, I don't know, I have not tried them yet. So there's really cool things that you can color and make different things and then it gives you some ex examples and um, how to practice. What I plan on doing is I am going to actually um, use my, oh what is it called, I forgot. You're probably yelling at it right now, yelling at me right now saying you know what it is, but I can't think of it. Um, it's the, um, I really can't, it, here it is. We always have something, right? Because sometimes my brain just stops working because it says ha 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 ha, you're doing a video, let's mess you up. Um, laminate. Um, I want to use the, the Xyron laminate. Yay, she remembered. Anyway, and uh, put that on here so I can use this over and over and over again. That's what I would suggest for you if you're learning or if you're practicing. Um, the Xyron is um, lightweight, so it's not super heavy and hard, and you should be able to wipe it right off. Um, if you are using it, you may want to not use these because it may just come straight off. You, If you have alcohol markers, you could use those for practice because even um, if it's a... A slick base. You could use Copic markers or you can even use, um, uh, again, not working today. Let's me, let me just pull one out, see if I can find one. Uh, the permanent markers. Again, not working. My brain. Where is it? I don't know. Well, somebody took it. Today's Sunday, so I guess it's still on vacation. At any rate, you can use the Sharpies, which is now I remembered. See, that's two. Um, you can use Sharpies on a slick surface and then use just regular uh, isopropyl alcohol and wipe it off, and as long as it's a slick surface, you'll be fine, so you can do that and reuse these pages. Or you can make them make copies, of course. Either way, but if you're like on a trip and you want to practice on a plane or something like that, um, you might want to be careful with the Sharpies because they smell. So alcohol markers might be a little bit better as far as scent. But there's a lot of really great examples here. Pretty neat, I think. Shows you how to do the different strokes and things like that. This is really a great kit, I think. I'm really impressed. Um, I'm glad I got it. And it shows a lot of different things that you can do. And I don't know if I like necessarily this exact style, but this is where you actually just have a jumping off point and you just go for it, right? So there's a lot of different things in here. Shows you the numbers and the letters and words and things like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can also practice on these lines here. And what's also neat is it has a grid, so it can really give you how you used to write when you were in uh, kindergarten or in first grade when you, you know, go under the line, over the line, above, etc., etc. So this is really helpful, and if you have graphic paper, you can do it yourself. So I really like this. This is really neat. This reminds me of a, uh, is it Bujou? 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 I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, I have a book like this and I can't think of the name of it. Um, but it's really cool you can practice on that. So that would be a good thing to do is just use it for practice. So here's different projects you can make in this little kit. Uh, just so you know, I don't work with Crayola. I don't have any affiliation with Crayola. I just thought this was a really cute little kit. And since um, drawing and writing is such a rage and I really, really do encourage it, I thought it'd be really neat to um, show you what it looks like on the inside because it doesn't really, I mean, it kind of shows you here with like this 
and it kind of shows you here with this. But to really look at the pages and things, it doesn't really show you exactly what it's offering. So I thought maybe I would open it up so you can see it. Because sometimes we may not want to buy it if we can't really see what's going on. So it also comes with this cool kit here. Oops. With these little tags. You can make your own little tags. And these are place cards. So that's pretty neat too. So it encourages you to be creative. And maybe you're having a wedding or a birthday party. You can write your own and keep practicing. So one thing I would suggest is it's definitely important for you to practice, practice, practice. And it's also really important for you to understand that nothing is perfect. You're not going to get the exact perfect thing when you're first trying. But that doesn't mean that you stop trying. It's really important that you practice, practice, practice. Because if you don't, you won't be able to get better. And if you don't get better, then you'll be frustrated and you'll have this great set and not be able to do anything about it. Now, wouldn't that be terrible, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we have plenty of exciting things to do and exciting crafts to make. And you want to make sure that in doing so, you practice, practice, practice. So all I wanted to show you is how this works. It's a pretty quick um, non... Uh, tutorial type uh, video. I thought it was pretty neat and I thought I would just show you what comes with it. I think it's a pretty extensive kit for a pretty reasonable price and I hope you enjoyed this checking out this new set from Crayola. I hope you have a fantastic day and thank you so much for going on A Creative Journey with Melissa. Check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com and www.acjwm.com. We will still be doing a giveaway. Make sure you're signed up for our YouTube channel and for our blog slash email list, and you will be entered to win every week. Have a great one. Don't forget, make sure you make it creative. Have a good one. Bye-bye.